In 1902, while her husband Alistair was off on a mission, Lillian Lethbridge Stewart, in a moment of loneliness, turned to Archie, her brother-in-law, and a night of indiscretion followed. Nine months later she gave birth to her second child, Gordon. Everyone believed the father to be Alistair. He served at Ypres in December 1914. On Christmas Day, near St. Yvonne, Archibald and his men were laying field telephone cables at the front line when they were caught up in a German bombardment and a follow-up attack. Archibald was stuck in a crater with a wounded German soldier, where both men held each other at gunpoint. Archibald stated that he wouldn't kill the German soldier except in self-defense, but he didn't speak German, nor the German any English. Before they could kill each other, Archibald was abducted by the testimony in order for them to record his memories. Due to an error in the timeline caused by the first doctor and the twelfth doctor resisting regeneration at the same time, Archibald was returned to Antarctica in December 1986 instead of Ypres, where he became the subject of a conflict between the two doctors and the testimony, who wished to return Archibald to his own time. After the truth about the testimony was revealed, it was agreed that Archibald would be returned to his own time period, with the doctors acting as his escort. On the return trip aboard the twelfth doctor's TARDIS, Archibald expressed regret that he would never see his wife and sons again to the doctor. After returning to Ypres, Archibald was informed that his memory of the entire experience would be erased while a perception filter would keep him from seeing the two doctors. The first doctor expressed regret that, the universe generally fails to be a fairy tale, and Archibald revealed his name and requested that the doctors check up on his family. After both doctors promised to fulfill his request, Archibald returned to his spot in the crater, causing time to resume and his memories to instantly be erased. As Archibald and his German opponent prepared to shoot each other, both men heard Christmas caroling on both sides, as a Christmas truce began. Laughing in relief, Archibald and the German soldier ended their standoff and Archibald called for medical attention for the man. Privately the twelfth doctor explained that he adjusted Archibald's timeline by a couple of hours to save Archibald and his opponent's lives. Some hours later, as the truce began to end, Archibald noticed the twelfth doctor standing on the field and saluting him causing Archibald to confusedly salute back. Archibald visited his brother, Alistair Connell Hamish Lethbridge Stewart for Christmas in Carmunic, 1917. Archie's train was delayed, so he had to take an alternate train in London, arriving on the 26th of December instead. He had a drink with his brother to celebrate both their offspring's future.